Hello, hello there. This is Monster Sanctuary. I don't know anything about this game yet again, uh, apart from it being apparently a Metroidvania and featuring battle systems that are very similar to Pokemon. So let's see what this is about. I've like jumped into this game for a moment just to see if everything works. Let's start a new game here and let's overwrite this save slot. Delete the existing process progress. And let's go for the red dude, why not? And we're gonna name ourselves Turdy. No, not Tut. Although Tut's kind of cool. That's cute enough, come on. Well, let's do it. Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow, lo grow loyal to their owners. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Yo, Britons. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Look at that. This is very, very reminiscent of Pokemon, right? You got, you know, the... Well, this time it's four, but you've got the starter Pokemons, basically. And they all have their attributes. Fire, Earth, Water, Wind, too. So, we can pick one of these guys here. On... Is this really? I have no Muthanama screen. Damn it! Ah, you're right. I didn't change the title. Let me do that real quick. Um, but while I do that, let me think about what um, what we can actually do. Because on the on the test run that I did, the couple of seconds, I think I picked the the Firebird, and that was good enough. But I think I'm gonna go with that. Alright, this should be a lot better now. Alrighty. Because the bird's sort of middle road when it comes to the stats that it has, attack, magic, and stuff. I feel like that's pretty good for a first playthrough. To not go one extreme end or the other. Plus, it seems to have a pretty cool uh, ability to it. Which might be cool for exploration, that's why I want to pick it. From the first, like, minute that I've played, it did something cool, so I kind of want to do that. So let's pick the eagle, sure. Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Hmm. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Terry is just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. Ooh, look at that artwork too. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. His bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral eagle. Name your familiar. That's right, okay, so we can name these guys too, right? And um, if anybody has like suggestions or if anybody wants their name in here, that's totally fine by me. Otherwise, I'll just, I don't know. I'll look up like rap generator names or shit like that. Something, something stupid. So I'm thinking for the first one though, the first one, it's kind of important. I think this one's unique this monster, so I don't know. Hmm. Spätzchen, oh no. I don't think we can do, like, the German ace in here. Pretty sure we cannot. Jack Sparrow. But we could, we, I mean, we could do AE, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll get used to it. Let's take that. It's cute enough. It's adorable. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That's why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. Look at it go. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. So there we go. Now we're in the game and um, let me see. There was a way to... No, that's not it. There was a way to... There we go. So this, this sparrow thing here, from the minute I've played, it has this strange kind of ability where it can carry you up for a little while while you're in the air. Only for like a second or so. But I feel like that would be really, really nice for exploration. We cannot get up over to the left there though, unfortunately. But you know, it can carry you a tiny little way up too. So I've already found like in that minute of, of playtime a place where we could go up. So I think this thing is going to be pretty cool. Alright, so let's fight this blob here. Combat. Start combat or choose monsters. Well, we only have one, so we can just start. And there you go. From the user interface, it looks a little bit different from Pokemon, but it plays pretty much exactly the same. You have your abilities, and um, you have a couple of monsters you can choose, probably, once you catch more of them. Or hatch, uh, in, this, in this case. Let's see what we can do here. You can see on the on the blob's health bar which ability would do the most damage, so let's just go with that. And it looks cool too. And there we go. It is done. Wow. Four stars. And we got a blob egg. So in this case, you don't really need to catch the monsters as much as you just need to defeat them and hope that they drop an egg, basically. There we go, you received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Nope, this one, inventory, blob egg, and hatch the egg. Cool, hatched blob. What do we call blob? You can blob. <laughs> oh no. I see. Jürgen. Oh lord. This is gonna be just all. No, not all caps, please. There we go. Okay. Jürgen blob. Very formal. And there we go. We have our blob. That is your first monster you hatched by yourself. Right now it's weak, so you will need to train it. There is much more for you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail. It will lead us to all old Buren, an old friend of mine. He's a patient teacher to all you Keepers who seek guidance. Or all young Keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Alright, cool. So we got Jürgen Blob. Uh, I think hmm, there was a way. Yeah, there we go. You can like choose the monster that's following you around. And I think that can come in handy for different things in exploration. It says down there, explore ability, right? And so the blob can activate water orbs. I don't really know what those are, but we'll probably find some soon enough. And this guy levitates the player. So let's keep going with him for now. Uh, I already forgot. There we go. And let's fight a couple more blobs. Ah, uh, yes. Right. So this blob has, an, has a healing ability and just a regular sort of attack. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's adorable. A bubble burst. Alright, I think we can start with this guy and... Spätzchen will finish off the other dude. There we go. So yeah, so far this has given me a lot more Pokemon than Metroidvania vibes, obviously, but I think we're going to get to the exploration soon enough. We got a small potion. Okay. Well, look at that. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Ooh. All right. Oh, by the way, is there... No, I don't think there's like... Or maybe there's secret walls or something, but there's not really like an attack button or anything, so I think if there are secret walls... Hey, Xan! If there's secret walls, we can probably just run into them, I would assume. Let's see. Keeper's Trail. Young Keeper. Tis the Keeper's Trail's beginning. For all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Okay. Look at all of this. What are you? Magma pillar and a rocky. Rocky? Hmm. All right. Let's bolt these guys. Yeah, looking good, looking good. What can you do? Ignite. Oh, so it burns. That's nice. I really do like the the attack effects for, so far. Like, there's some really good care put into those animations. Oh, there we go. Got him. Beautiful. Victory. All right, got three stars for that. Cotton. What does that do? Level one common upgrade material. Oh, that's interesting. So we got some sort of upgrade system or something. All right, as your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Where would I find the skill tree menu? Let's go for our main one here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is pretty expansive, huh? I didn't look into that when I when I play tested this for a bit. So cool. Uh, can we already do something with this? Attack plus. Explosion level two. Crit chance plus. Learn explosion level two. So can we actually go for it already? Let's go for that one if we can. Yeah, look at that, huh? No skill points left. Okay. We got this guy. Do we have... Oh, oh, it shows the skill points over there. Okay, I see it. I see it. Okay, cool. So we'll worry about that when the time comes. That's really cool. And a chest. Obtained Cestus. Weapon. Okay. What do we do with a weapon? Equipment? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, this is a lot more... This is a lot, a lot more detailed than I thought. So you can actually equip weapons on these guys, too. That's crazy. Wow. Alright, I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's probably... You can see that little root thing? Hmm. It's probably something you can do with that, but I don't... Bird with brass knuckles swooping out to knock your teeth out. <laughs> That's really what it is, huh? Give the bird a cestus. Activates water orbs. So, okay, so I don't think he, he can do anything here. Oh, wait, but we have... Oh, no, we don't. I don't think we have any other eggs we can hatch, right? No. All right. 
Man, hey friend, you're just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Okay. All right. Got that, got that. Kunai. Wow, look at this. It's kind of strange to give your monsters weapons like this, but uh, yeah, let's roll with it. So, hmm, Sessa's 30, 30, and 15 defense, whatever. Okay, mana regeneration. Uh, sure, let's go for that on him. On Jürgen Blob over here. All right, and I think, was it this? Ah, pressed the wrong button. Was it this place over here? Yeah, something like this, where you can you can get your you can get your bird over here. I'm pretty sure there's an actual easier way to get up here, but see, like with a regular jump, you couldn't get up there, right? You just get stuck on that ledge. But now that we got the bird, we can barely make it up here and open this. Obtained hide. Defense plus 12, health plus 110. That's a lot of stuff we got here. So that's accessories, right? Okay. Wow. A full-on, like, equipment system for monsters. That's wild. Hello, fellow keeper. Did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? You can use your familiar's ability to fly to the chest up there. Yep, yep, got that, got that. Let's fight. And I'm thinking we should probably fight every monster, or at least as many monsters as we can. Like, pretty much everything we come, come across. Just because... We get experience, we get the chance to get the eggs from them, right? So, yeah, we'll fight as often as possible. All right, what should we go for? And I think there's also the possibility to do like crit damage if I remember that right. So sometimes, yeah, like this for example, cool. Very nice that the game demonstrated that for us right there. Because with that one attack, I wouldn't have gotten him if I didn't get a crit there. So that's very cool. God, Hachimal, dude, you just delivered the next episode's title. Hey, I will steal that. Thank you very much. Or I might take that for the first, uh... YouTube episode. Ooh, look at this too. Very nice, very nice on the bridge there. I like it when they put like little details like this in games. Like, it's completely unnecessary, right, to have this bridge physically react to your character like this. But goddamn, does it look nice, huh? Like, it's the little things that really make you appreciate games like this. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Oh, let's go! Obtained bracelet. Uh, I think that was mana regeneration, wasn't it? Alright, let's go for this guy. Alright, and we have a skill point too. So what is- wait, what is this? Oh! Oh, 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 we can get new skills as well. Slime Shot, which is, what, Magical Damage Earth? Acid Rain, Magical Damage Water. Ooh. Hmm. Applies Poison as a debuff. This applies Armor Break. They all look cool, honestly. Let's go for Poison, though. Let's go for Poison. Right? I wasn't expecting such a large skill tree for a single creature. I was I was under the impression that it was just going to be Pokemon where, you know, at, at a certain level they just learn a new skill and that's basically it. But this is freaking crazy. In a great way, I love it. Alright, what's down here? Some more chests. Oh! Gauntlet! Okay more defense. Is that a weapon, though? No, okay. Sure, let's equip it. I've had this game on your wish list for a while, but first time seeing actual gameplay looks better than I was expecting. Wonderful. 
for me it was um so i just checked the steam page because uh zihi actually recommended this game to me and immediately just the visuals were great enough for me to check it out or to buy it rather so i'm very pleased with it so far all right what do we got hopper wait i shouldn't have clicked that away so quickly because i actually didn't see what it was wait copper was it some sort of um material we got food, combat consumables, craft material. There we go. Copper. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff in the inventory too, huh? By the way. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll figure all of that out as it comes along. I don't think we can get up there. No. This is too high up for us. Okay. So there must be some sort of way to get a double jump or something. Or some monster that helps you to get up on that ledge, for example. Which is nice. So now we're getting into the Metroidvania thing. Now we're getting into the Metroidvania side of things. Hello there, Felty. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Let me shout you out real quick because Felty is really, really cool. Um, for anybody here... Well, I don't know if anybody here knows Megbird, but... Um, Megbird is a really cool really really cool vtuber too yeah xan that's right and felty actually um designed her so check out her stuff her art is really really nice so this is the path to the keeper stronghold we should continue on the keeper's trail first and visit old buren cool cool you need an african sparrow instead of the european one I just read that. All right, so there's a couple birds over here. Let's see, let's see. Vero. Mm hmm. Oh, no problem, Felty. Always for you. Let's go. Mm hmm. It's really nice that it's so intuitive too, where you can immediately see how much damage your uh, your attacks would do, right? So you don't really have to worry about like, oh, this is gonna do 50 fire damage and this guy's weak to fire, so probably blah, blah, blah. Like, no, you can immediately see it. It's for dumb players like me, very, very nice. Ooh, might. Oh. So they get attack bonuses. Look at that. Okay, uh, actually, let me, let me see. Well, let's go and kill one of them first. Oh, that sound. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and explode him again. Barely did any damage. Sure. Cool. And it doesn't really matter what we do here. Nice! Victory. Three stars, kind of usual. Vero Egg. Cool. We got a new monster. Let's go. Poisoned him, but it was kind of useless, the poison thing. We do have status effects too. That's right. Uh, let's see. Where's that egg? Let's hatch that. And we get a little bird. Marrow. So what are we going to call that? What are we going to call that? I'm tempted to just go Birdo, but it's so... It's so uncreative that I kind of like it. Ah, let me take take a sip here. No. Breitans has a better suggestion. Let me actually wait a moment. Let me pull up while we're at it. Let me pull up like a rap name generator just in case. I find that stuff so funny sometimes. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, 